The discussion in Iowa about medical marijuana is growing on several fronts. The governor is saying he's open to allowing families who struggle with epilepsy to travel to neighboring Illinois to obtain cannabis oil, possession of which he legalized last year. Senate Democrats will move legislation this year to allow for production and distribution here. And now, in a story you will see only on Fox 28, there is scientific testing being done in the corridor to determine the oil's actual effectiveness. It will be a multi-center, multinational scientific study. Dr. Shiroto Joshi is the principal researcher in a clinical trial at the University of Iowa, a study sponsored by British-based GW Pharmaceuticals and approved by the FDA. Its focus? Epidiolex, which is the brand name, is almost pure um, CBD. CBD is the cannabis extract that has shown so much promise among patients with intractable epilepsy across the country. These children are seeing incredible results, not just in reduction of seizures, but they're talking more, they're sharper, they're clearer, they're able to come off their other medications. That's something LaFrance wants for her child, who had his first seizure at five months old. Now 13, Quincy has been on 30 different medications and is totally dependent on his desperate family. There you go, bud. We've just tried anything. Um, right now he's on a seizure medication that's not even really allowed. It's for dogs. So we're, we've run out of things to try. LaFrance and a few other parents, like Tina McDermott, begged Dr. Joshi for help. So the pediatric neurologist filed a mountain of paperwork to get federal approval for the research. When we go in, she thanks me every time, you know, that we brought her the information and made sure she got the information. McDermott's son, Ryan, like Quincy, suffers from Dravet syndrome, a rare and catastrophic form of epilepsy that's the focus of this study. At eight years old, he still can't walk or talk. Are you done with those two? Do I blame that on the syndrome itself? I don't know. Or do I blame it on all the... 13, 14 meds that he's been on since he's been two months old. Ryan and Quincy are two of the roughly 10 patients who will participate in this 12-week study. Good boy! And they'll be monitored very closely. Some will take Epidiolex, some a placebo. Given the very nature of the study, meaning that it is double-blind, as in I actually don't know what the patient is getting, and I cannot tell by looking at it, sniffing it, um, that it is any different from the, the real medicine or the real study material. Maneuvering through a maze of regulatory hurdles, Joshi already has been able to prescribe CBD to a small number of critical patients on a compassionate basis, but does not want to bias this study talking about the details. Could you not describe what you saw as far um, as their response, whether they their seizures? My patients lessened? did very well. Yes. And that's about as far as you can talk yes, about? I, yes, I think so. They are becoming one of the leaders in epilepsy research nationwide. Dale Todd with the Iowa Epilepsy Foundation is highly encouraged. Many of the medications that my son is on and other uh, children are on are a lot more stronger and uh, have uh, by far more side effects than anything that we're studying down there at the University of Iowa. Can you take some steps? Offering even more hope for Ryan and Quincy is the potential that after this study is completed, they can use Epidiolex for several years or up until the time the FDA approves it as medicine for their specific condition. There have been reported zero negative side effects, only positive. So that's what's exciting for me to be able to try it. I'm going in hoping that this, this works for Ryan because right now, like I said, I mean, there's not even anything here for us yet. The clinical trial begins next month, and it's actually Part B of the study. Part A already screened patients who suffer fewer than four seizures per month to make sure CBD is safe. All the results will be aggregated, analyzed, and published. Then the process begins to obtain FDA approval. Dr. Joshi believes this entire process will take several years.